Hey, well, speaking of Sid, uh, I know you got you were on 32 Thoughts talking about how wasted he was at the at the cup party. That's one guy that I'm sure was probably the happiest guy on the planet for you, given everything that you'd been through and training all those years with him and seeing how much you wanted to follow in his footsteps in, in winning some cups. I just think that's what it's all about. Um, you know, I was firsthand watching him win cups, going to his parties, everything like that. And um, I think we just wanted it so bad, man. And um i and i know he was super happy for me um you know i don't think he is happy for many people when they win the cup other than himself and his teammates but i could tell you know he's really really happy for me proud of me he's kind of like a older brother in a sense uh you know eight nine years older than me so it's uh it's great i mean i have the you know best training partner of all time and i get to learn a lot and it, it was special to to share that moment with him um, you know, him being on the cup three times. So, uh, does does he have to train at your brand new gym now that you have the Stanley Cup under your belt? Or are you still going to his old crusty gym in Halifax? <laughs> oh yeah, he still doesn't step foot by gym. This guy's gym is from O two. Yeah, it needs some renovations, but yeah, it's a, it's still a joke. It's yeah, it's still a joke. But I'm he working he, on it. He said he outlasted you at your own cup party. Is that accurate? That is true. That is wow. true. I know. Um, he did, he shut down the L house, um, <laughs> which isn't an early night. I think him and him and Troy, him and Troy shut it down together. So that's great. No slight at all to Denver, but it looked like the parade at home was, was the same size. I, I don't know if that's accurate, <laughs> but what an, what an insane experience that must've been to get to do it twice. Right. Yeah, that was cool. I, I didn't expect it to be like that either. And Sid did his parade, I think, three times in Cole Harbor, where we're both from. And um, I played junior in Halifax, and I figured I'd, I might as well try it there. And it was crazy. Uh, a lot of Moosehead fans, a lot of Avalanche fans, and uh, brought, brought some of my buddies up on the fire truck with me. And, yeah, we had a great time. So it was great. How, how, how do you even create a guest list for, for, like, your cup party? Like, was it insane? Did you keep it pretty tight, tight-knit group? Like, how, how many people ended up showing up to your personal party? It was tight. Yeah, I had two nights with it. Um, I flew it in from from Helmer in Detroit, and I got it around one. And then I think the first night was like 40, 45 people at my house, which was pretty good. And then the second night was like 130. Um, but I heard some of the boys had like 300, 350. And I'm like, that's a, that's a fucking nightmare. Uh, you know, like, that's a lot of pictures and a lot. The one thing you don't know when you win the cup and you, when you do is how sore your forearms are. And my, I had a fucking cut on my right hand from holding the, uh, like the top of the mug. And cause you're pouring drinks in people's mouths all night. And it's, it's awesome. But man, are you sore? It's crazy. By the time it's all said and done, they take it away. You're a little bit relieved. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Cause you just enjoy the night now with everyone. Cause it's, it's it's bad to say, but it's like you have it for like 12 hours straight carrying around, which is awesome. But it's just like, OK, you can take it now. I'm good. Uh, I've had my fun. Any any RAs hanging around that like straggled <laughs> into the party that weren't welcome that you had to pigeon toss? <laughs> yeah, a couple. Actually, a couple, couple guys invited this year. Weaseled the way in. Yeah. <laughs> a couple guys snuck in. So we had to get rid of them. Oh, how many God. how many teammates parties did you make? I mean, RA hit up new hooks, but I didn't know if you traveled around, um, experienced different guys. I didn't know. Uh, Cogs and Landy came to my party in Halifax, though, which was great. Um, they had some donairs and some keys, and they had a great time. So it was good to have them. Did you do anything Cogs? small? Oh, sorry, no, I was going to say, Cogliano told me he was chirping city. He still drives the same truck there, right? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's 20 years. Cog said he's had the thing. It's pushing. Yeah. I think it's like 15, 16 years. This, uh, <laughs> the Texas, you know, he's, he's a lunatic. The Not the same Range Rover, uh, Range Rover that's silver. Is it? I think he might, I think he got rid of that a couple of years ago, but in the summer, he's got this big SUV he's had for like it's 15 years now. Isn't and it? yeah, like a suburban or Tahoe or something. But yeah, this guy is, uh, he's a lunatic. He's like Warren Love Buffett. Him, He's got big yeah. dad energy, but no kids yet. Just driving around this suburb and carrying everyone around. He does got some dad energy for sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, I was going to ask, did you do anything maybe like that we didn't see online with the cop? Maybe eat something out of it, drink something out of it, do something unusual that we weren't aware of? Well, not really, man. Um, I wasn't a big eating out of the cup 
kind of guy. I don't know why. I just thought some of the stuff guys would eat, I thought it was a little ridiculous and they just did it for the likes on the gram. And I wasn't about that. So I just, I drank beer, wine, tequila. I just drank out of it mostly. And uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I went with. 